Okay, sorry about that. My husband came in to ask me something. So anyway, um, this side, this dresser still has some of the fabric stuff in it because it's things I can use in my journal. You know, placemats that have real pretty edging on them. Lace um, overlays. Oh, here's some of the vintage, you know, Girl Scout patches that I have picked up. Um, oops, I'm not good at this, y'all. Sorry, it'll take me a while to... I'm still so new at this. Look at these mats, place mats. They'd be great, I don't know, covers. They're sort of plasticky feeling, though, but very, very flexible, so I thought they were cool. And <laughs> almost free. This drawer has mostly painty papers. This drawer has... Um, overflow scrapbook papers and these are my deli mostly deli um, excuse me jelly prints that need to be worked on some more okay here's the napkin drawer I mean can we say napkins these are stacked you know on top of each other they're all underneath there here's some cute ones I just got this stack is about six deep, different types. And then I have, you know, all of these on this side. This is a stack of ones that have been opened that I have saved. But, you know, really, who needs that many napkins? Obviously not me, but there they are. So, if it, like I said, anybody interested in doing the napkin spot, God, just let me know. I'd be glad to um, share because there are so many that need a home. Uh, my mom and I will never use them all. Okay. So this side of my workbench, this is, this is my workbench that Paul made me. Um, underneath of that, you see it's open. Okay, there's stuff in the way here. I've got stacked on this little table that's in the way um but underneath of that in that space he said if i would design some cubbies like i did on the um bookcase behind us he'll build another unit to slide in underneath that so i'll have cubbies to put um some of my stuff so and god bless him he's pretty quick if i just get it drawn up and measured you know measured, drawn up, and um, on paper, he'll put it together for me. These are books that are going in storage too. So I've got those, 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 and any more that I, you know, come across um, that'll be going away. Oh, the big blue tub under there, full of books. Um, the box down there, that's for my Fobonichi journal, which I haven't touched in months. And then back here, I have a tub. This tub right here, this is one of my new things. I have put together all of the little pieces of ephemera, um, some vintage, some not. Uh, so I'd have it in one place. So when I'm throwing a journal together, I can say, oh, let's grab the vintage ephemera box. You know, I've got some patterns at hand, guest checks, time cards, you know, the um, game tally cards more time cards different types of let's see there's vintage papers book pages catalog pages i can tear up you know just so it'd be handy at one spot here's some stuff i got oh that was from a swap here's some fabric from selena i believe it's either her or, or um Booker bookery love them um little cards from oh what's the name of her shop i'm gonna remember it vicky crafting vicky um uses her a lot and she does have fabulous things at good prices this is a whole pack of vintage maps i found at a thrift shop vintage papers and then just some like packets tim holtz type stuff the architectures just so I'd have it ready to move and grab and take to wherever I'm working. I thought that'd be a good idea. 
I'm planning on using this basket to hold um, journals that are in process. Like I'm working right now on this sewing book, um, five ring binder to put in my Etsy. Um, where's another one? Oh, see, let's put this over here. Let me move because it, it needs to find a new home. I may as well do it right now. So here we go, moving and shoving. So this is a binder that's already in my um, Etsy shop. I can put it here because I don't have anywhere to keep them. I've done a video on that one already and it's in the shop if anybody's interested. Okay, so let's go back now. I don't want you to see all that yet. So I have, you know, the nice shelves and everything looks good and I really have taken time to organize it and put things where I want them. I know where everything over there is. You know, if I need a spelling book, vintage, I can put my finger on it right there on that shelf. If I need um, a cookbook, I know to go right there. If I need, um, you know, whatever, I know where it is. Look at this mess. <laughs> This is just a mess. It Okay, this door leads to a bathroom, our downstairs bathroom. We've never opened it ever. Well, with the exception of the day we put this in, we had to come through with that. But this is, sadly, mostly, boxes. I have started, you know, saving boxes to use, to recycle, and use them as paper needs to go on something because that's kind of cool but it's mostly boxes that are good hard sturdy you know cardboard chipboard and I hate throwing it away when I know that I can turn it into some kind of cool journal. but look at all that cardboard what in the world I have more cardboard than anybody needs I feel like if I tear the boxes down flatten them and get them, you know, to fit in one bag like this, that will be fine. But, y'all, this goes, you know, down underneath. I've been saving things like, you know, my Tide Pods containers because that might be good storage. Well, I haven't stored anything in there yet, so I just, I don't know. It's like sometimes you're trying to do so much, and it's, it's overwhelming. Um, I've got my little toolbox, my own toolbox I put together down there, and... That's, I don't even know what that is, just stuff. I do have some wallpaper back here. Okay, so let's leave this side of the room. Let me show you what I have done <laughs> besides the bookcase. Now, um, like I said, this will be my sewing station now. Once I get all of this cleaned off, this will have basically just my sewing machine. I've got a little desk lamp right here that I use. My my um, long table here, this thing, used to be here on this wall and it ran out into the room, you know, this way. And it was nice and all, but it was taking up so much floor space, I knew there had to be a different way. And the sewing table had been over in that corner. So I switched it up and I found um, this was in my daughter's, um, the girls' bathroom. They weren't using it. We got them a new unit, so I cleaned that up um, and put, I've got like my glue books here and ephemera boxes. There's a little box that has um, like hardware in it I could use on journals. Um, I'm making my mom a garden binder, so that's hers I'm working on whoops right there but my uh, here's another prop one of my pride and joys oh that looks bad let's uh we can't see for these i just got a zutter bind it all well i said i just got it i got it a couple of months ago so i'm excited about using that but i've got my luggage over here i've got this um briefcase that i picked up for can you believe thirty dollars at a second hand shop i was thrilled this little um train case and I honestly can't remember where I got that but I used this to hold jewelry to use for for making you know tassels to or, um, you know hang off the side of my journals 
or to turn into other jewelry. That's another one of my um, passions. I, I like making, not passions, but interests. There you go. Make, I love making jewelry. I love making um, paper beads. I've got a, a really good, I can't show you underneath that. That's maybe some other day. Anyway, it's solid full of beads and things like that. But this briefcase um, was just sitting there, and I was scared to look at the price tag because as soon as I saw it, I fell in love with it. And I had a feeling that it was going to be way out of my price range. I mean, well, for me, y'all, $30 was getting close to being out of my price range, if we're honest. But anyway, I picked up the tag. I mean, look at it. It's all scratched up, but the color is just beautiful. And let's pray that these dials don't ever move because it's a combination lock, and I don't have the combination. So in here, let's look. You open it up. Basic briefcase. Look, this little note was in there to somebody named John. It must have been somebody in, in the fashion industry. And wished him a good weekend. That will forever stay in that pocket because I just love it. So I thought what I would do with this is put um, ephemera, my vintage um, magazines and stuff that I didn't want torn up. This packet is um, a package of vintage needlepoint patterns. But I've got like old life magazines. Oops, let's do this hand. Life magazines, different cooking magazines. Like this one is from, oh, I don't know. But, oh, 1953 is five cents. But look at the colors on just the cover alone. Okay, here's my favorite. Check her out. Oh my God. I love her hair. Look at the hair, the makeup. This is from... July of 1964. I had not even been thought of at that point. Close to being thought of, but not quite. So, Old McCall's Magazine. More Life. Magazine called Look. And then I found a bunch of Boys Life magazines. And normally, y'all, for these, I, I don't like paying a lot for these. Um, they have to be cheap. You know, a couple of dollars. These, Boy's Life, I got lucky. It was from a little shop downtown. Um, and we're, keep in mind, I live in Beaufort, North Carolina. It's a little tourist town. It's seasonal, you know, spring, summer, early fall. We have good business. After that, it's like a ghost town. So, a lot of the shops, you know, they're kind of pricey, to be honest. And they wanted, um, they wanted... I think it was $5 for each magazine, each of these boys' lives. And they had them on sale, and I got them for a buck a piece. So, and I didn't pick them all up. I was so tempted, but I picked up ones that, you know, I flipped through them like I love the cover on this one. But these are all from the 60s. And I have a bunch of, this is one of my first, back when I first started getting into the vintage um, ephemera. I don't know about... A year and a half ago I picked up some old sheet music on eBay and y'all it is old and delicate as I flip through it most of it is from look at this this lady named Murdy McNeil oh my god don't you just love that her name Murdy some of this music is even from the 1800s so anyway thought this would be a good place to put um, large vintage pieces you don't want wrinkled up torn up before you ever even get to use the things so if you find a briefcase or suitcase um, it's a great great storage place so i had this crammed underneath um underneath that white table over there and you never i never got to see it didn't think about it. See, I, I don't even use the stuff in it because, you know, out of sight, out of mind. So, what a waste to have stuff like... Moving on. Sewing boxes with basic sewing items in them. Mine, my daughter's. 
Back here, I have vintage patterns. Have never even been through the ones in that box. And it's two sets deep. Then I found this train case on eBay from, is it called Two Sisters? I will, if anybody's interested, I will um, check it out. I've got her paperwork still. Oh, you know, that's like not vintage. Just pick that up somewhere, it's cute. But I used this train case for my first real vintage items, the little stuff. You know, I pulled the ephemera out of the games. You know, I've got vintage recipe cards, vintage playing cards, game tallies, um, library cards. Um, anyway, one day I'll pull all of that out if y'all, anybody's interested and show you all the stuff in there. Bingo cards, that type of thing. I just love it. It reminded me of my mom's train case from back in the 60s. Hers was avocado green. <laughs> Oh, and I also like this because I love crowns, and this is by Royal Traveler, and that little emblem right there is a little crown. My God, is that not cute? Then I found this beauty on eBay, I believe. That's also full of ephemera. I would, I'll put those together. If anybody's interested, I'll do a video in what kind of ephemera I've got in here. But it was in such good shape. This was a birthday happy birthday to me splurge although it really wasn't that much but it was enough anyway so this is my little workstation and I'm planning on doing my videos setting up my um, tripod here I finally got a tripod and it can stand up here hold my phone and you know video whatever I'm doing on the table um, got my rolling cart these are here from, of course, when I had the sewing machine. I'm thinking about leaving that one. Look at all the stuff I have already piled on this table as I'm trying to organize. I mean, really, what am I gonna do with all of this? This is just stuff that's found its way to that basket. More vintage stuff. Not vintage, but cute, fun stuff. Some, I'm going to use these old books as just tear apart books. My tray that has all my paints, craft paints, glue, paper clips, distress, oxides, washi, stamps. This is stuff I grab, you know, most every time I'm doing something, whether it's art journaling, bookmaking, you know, whatever, mixed media. Got my dilutions paints, rubber band ball, cool. <laughs> this is my, this is supposed to be like Dawn on Let's Make a Mess today, her junk jar. This is supposed to be my junk container and it's turned into my um, recycled tag making stuff. You know, I don't throw these away when I get my jock glue or my Elmer's glue sticks or I find you have extra pieces of you know ephemera left over I shove it in just shove it in and it's kind of holding its own but I know that one day that's getting ready to explode and just you know fall out everywhere okay here's Miss Heidi again look at her say hello mm -hmm. okay over here on this side I have finished cleaning this up. This was what I finished last night before I went to bed. I've got um, these drawers. I got this at a estate sale for a couple bucks. Cigar box with vintage stamps in it. Telly wrap. And just papers. I saved all these. They're like thick, you know, wrapping things that come wrapped up when you purchase something or whatever. I, I want to paint on it, make painting papers, big ones. And then the drawers have things like, um, this is an overflow. I've got stickers in here, vintage embellishments, vintage ephemera. You know, what's the difference? I don't know, I get confused. And um, Oh, notepads and things for, you know, putting in my journals, little spots and, you know, it says, it says, notepads, random paper. I've got 
you know, glassine bags tucked in there. What in the world? This has no name. That's the random paper right there. Bags. I save, you know, pretty little bags. Color card stock. Oh, where is it? There it is. I've got to look at what I'm doing. And this is where I keep my punches. I don't have a lot of punches. So I keep them in there. This is an important section when I'm bookmaking. Any paper, well, let me put it this way. Basically, nothing goes in this section unless it is to go in a journal that I am creating from you know, scratch. Um, I have to have it in one place or I forget about it and don't use it. Um, and I like variety. This is um, some, these are vintage calendars I found on eBay. This is, uh, you know, little cards I picked up for 50 cents at the thrift shop. You know, old steno paper, manuscript blank paper that's old. Now see, here's something new. Picked that up at um, Target one day when I was in there for a, you know, a buck or two. Vintage planner paper. This is paper from, let's see, I could share somebody's place. Ruby Heart Crafts. I got some ledger paper from her. Of them. Here's vintage. I've got to quit saying vintage. Okay, if it's if it's not vintage, I'll tell you. Um, found these on eBay for next to nothing. They're old um, papers from a hospital in Pennsylvania. Actually, yeah, Pittsburgh, where my husband's from. That was mostly why I wanted to get it. I've got um, pretty printed, you know, paper to go in journals. Some shaped stickers. Then I have a bunch of parchment I got on clearance at Hobby Lobby. Some different, in different shades. Let's see, here's some vintage parchment I found at a thrift shop. Then I have, you know, modern colored um, copy paper. We've got mixed media papers here. No, that's a watercolor actually, that one. Um, just drawing paper, charcoal paper. Found this. This was cool. Papers for foundation piecing. I guess it's for quilting or something. And um, got it for a couple of bucks. I love it because the edges are aging. You know, vintage type, I said it again, vintage typing paper, new card stock. That's not very old, this um, composition book. And it has the gridded paper old calendar. That's cool. And then, you know, the Mambi sheets. I've got a few sets of those. File folders. Found me some, um, I think it's vellum, translucent vellum. Um, this is a big book. It's an old basic scrapbook. And I put on here color study. And I'm using it just to show, so I remember, you know, you see people make stuff and on YouTube and you're like, oh God, I love those colors together, color combinations, but I would have never thought of putting those together myself. So I decided since I have this, um, you know, to, to do copy or, you know, redo those um, combinations in this book and I'd have them just as a reference, not much on that page. Like, I love, you know, these colors together. This is one, I'm not a big neon fan, or excuse me, in the past I was not a big neon fan. And the more I see it, the more I love it. So, you know, I use some neon along with the teals and the white and just, you know, put some together and wrote, you know, Maybe where I saw it, or you know what I, how it made me feel. Anyway, got a lot more of those to do, but I thought that was fun. And then behind that, I have you know my large papers, grids, and um, ledger, just some craft paper. Found some old um, Stampin' Up planning sheets. I guess they are. Okay, get back in there. Planning sheets, but they're gridded. And I got two, found two packs of those. That was at a private sale. I, you know where I found that was on Facebook, on you know your local marketplace, I guess. Yeah. So 
be sure to check that out. That was um, a feature on Facebook I didn't even know about. I wasn't aware of it until just recently. Okay, under here, see this mess? That all has to come out and find itself a home. I've got my um, faith items in here. I want to start making faith journals too. Cards, but they need, you know, all of this under here needs a new home or I just need to go through it and make sure what's supposed to be in there is there. Then, you know, okay, big bite can go over here. So that that's where that should be. Um, see cards. I have cards. You know, these are vintage ones, just thank you notes, and these are you know new cute ones I picked up at TJ Maxx. I like mixing the old with the new. Um, okay. Pens, pencils, markers, Lord, I was so excited to get like these Jane Davenport um, mermaid markers. I've used them twice, maybe, but it's because I had them tucked away and just never, never saw them. Same with um, her pencils. They're beautiful colors, absolutely stunning colors, and they're soft. I, I really like those. Um, my washi tape. Okay. Back here, bunch of junk. What else? Got to find somewhere to put it. Um, fabric things. Rolls of, you know, fabric remnants. Fabric stuff all in these this cube of three. Then I moved. So my fabric stuff, originally, I'm going to cover you up, had been over there, right? It was full. Every drawer was bursting with fabric. Now, this is one drawer. I mean, do you see? It's just it's packed and crammed in here. But I, you know, I keep it. I I I'm, I want to bring more fabrics into my journals. Not all of them, but some. I can't get to that because the washi's in the way. Mm -hmm. Do you see what I mean? I want my room to be functional. <laughs> But I have some beautiful stuff. I, I originally wanted to make purses, um, and like I said, pillows. I wanted to do collage, wall hangings. I just, um, I, I've picked out what I could get rid of, and y'all, the rest of it, I, I just can't. Look at these vintage um, Christmas, they were napkins. I've ironed them, and, but I haven't done anything with them yet. I need to get on that. You know, just rolls and rolls of stuff. I always hit, when I go to Hobby Lobby, the first place I go, no matter what I'm in there for, is I hit the, um, the clearance in, in the sewing and fabric center um, area. Okay. Ooh, space. Forgot I had that. This is from a quilt. I, okay, I tell a lie. I have made a second quilt. I forgot. I can't believe I forgot. Um, anyway, I'll tell you about that someday. It's a quilt I finished. It was a gift for someone. Um, but these, it was a guy, man. So we did, um, red, white, and blue. That's what the school colors were. It was a, a band director, not director. He was, he directed the color guard and helped with that. And so my daughter was a color guard captain her senior year. And so we made him a special quilt and all the girls made a panel to go in the quilt that they did with permanent um, pen. It was really cute. So that is the second one I've actually finished. And then there's more fabric down here at the bottom. But whew, look, I'm out of breath from talking so much. Do you see what I mean though? I found this old, this really old. I would love to show you what's in there, but I just can't do it right this moment. Um, sewing box. It's round. It's gorgeous. It even had supplies left in it, y'all. Um, I was so thrilled to get it. This is a, um, you know, plastic cover from Sheets, a package of Sheets that I bought. It had set, two sets of it. And I saved it, thank gosh, and put my, like, um, feed sack material, some of the bigger things um, that were um, needing to be stored. I wanted out where I could see it. So, here's the last look. Like I said, I'm halfway through this revamping. Um, it's coming along. My God, you can you could not see the carpet in my room before. I mean, I had tables in the middle, piled high. Um, 
just it was crazy so i know it still looks a terrific mess but we're making a lot of progress and if i can figure out how to drop in the pictures from of the before i'd be um glad to show you that i have made progress even though it may not look like it but anyway I, i'm thinking about taking some of my extras and making packets and putting them in my etsy shop okay. I want this room to be functional, and if I don't get rid of some stuff, it's just, <laughs> it's not going to be functional. What's the point if you can't get to the stuff, if you forget about the stuff because you can't see it, can't use it? So, okay, well, I'm going to end this video here. Just a little craft room tour, and um, hoping this will help motivate me, knowing it's out there in the world for everybody to see, to... Um, try to get this finished up and possibly get some packs put together and share you know I, I don't want to throw things away I would love to share some of the the goodies that I've got um, with others of you these two are mine I got this one from Gina Johnson at the Red Bookery I love 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 it I'll show you that one day maybe this book right after um, I got this book from Gina I found this. I was taking my daughter somewhere, tennis practice, I think, and I was in my pajamas. It was this early Saturday morning, and um, you know, I was in my jammies because I was just dropping Jonna off. And on the way back, there was a yard sale, and I saw a big painting, and that's what prompted me to stop. Anyway, I did end up getting the painting. It was only a few bucks. But I thought, while I'm here, nobody's paying attention to me in my jammies, so um, I happen to have, I bet I didn't have any more than $10 cash on me. I looked down, and there was this book. I almost died. Guess how much I got it for? A dollar. A dollar! <laughs> I was so excited. The lady that was doing the yard sale, I mean, I just, I was beaming. I went running, not running, because I don't run, my legs are messed up, but I, I zoomed over to her, and I'm like, are you sure you just want a dollar for this? <laughs> and she was like, uh, yeah. And I said, you have just made my day. So that was the first binder that I bought um, that I actually found myself, and so that will be my sewing, excuse me, sewing book um, journal. And um, I have done nothing in that yet to start. But anyway, I'll end it here. Y'all pray for me that I get this big job finished very soon. Okay, we'll talk to you all again soon. Till next time, bye-bye.